What's up guys, it's Drew from Taylor Tech. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up a Raspberry Pi 3. I have the Model B version here. If you're not familiar with these, it's a $35 computer that a lot of people use to run servers and things of that nature off of. I'm gonna be using it to run a server for these Amazon Dash buttons. I'll be making another video on that, but for now we're just gonna set this up and get it ready using PuTTY so we can access it from our Windows PC. Now the process is pretty simple setting this up. Uh, I just got the basic version, 35 bucks. I have a power supply and I uh, have a mouse and keyboard laying around. This has built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and set it up with the ethernet port. Let's go ahead and unbox this and then we'll go ahead and add this, the operating system onto the SD card insert it into here, boot this thing up, and then get it set up. Let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this. Get some safety instructions and quick start guide. Raspberry Pi. she is. So here we have the chipset, uh, HDMI port, micro USB connector for power, audio, ethernet, uh, four USB 2.0 ports, GPIO header for other things I won't be using. Got some LED lights over here. Uh, I believe this is the DSi display connector. Here's the chip antenna for the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi chip is back here. So yeah, it's a pretty neat little device. Lots of uses for them. Let's go ahead and go on the PC and get the uh, SD card formatted with the operating system and then we'll be back here and install it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is go to raspberrypi.org, go to downloads, and we're going to put the noobs installer on there because it's the easiest. It has Ras Raspbian OS within noobs. So we're going to go ahead and download the zip. And it's about a, uh, 1.4 gigabytes, so it'll take a little bit. Okay, so once the noobs is finished downloading, we'll need to extract it to the SD card. But first, we want to make sure the SD card is formatted. So we'll right click and go to format. You want to make sure it's FAT32. Okay, so now that it is formatted, we will extract it extract all and we'll browse for the SD card. Mine says USB drive that's just because I'm using an adapter. Select folder and extract. Okay so now that it's done we're gonna go ahead and safely remove the SD card Okay, now that we have it removed, we'll go ahead and insert it into the SD card slot. This is a friction fit, so it won't snap in. Just make sure it's tight. And we'll put in the rest of the I.O. We have Ethernet, mouse and keyboard, HDMI, and then power. Okay, so as you can see on the screen over there, it is booting up. The 
zoom in a little more. We'll go ahead and install Raspbian. Pick our language down at the bottom. Click install. This is just a warning saying it will overwrite your SD card. Now it's installing the Raspbian operating system. Okay, so now that it's done installing, it says OS installed successfully. Go ahead and hit OK, and it will reboot the Pi, and it should boot back up in the desktop. All right, so here's the desktop. Show you that it's working. I can, I'll just open up a web browser. Okay, so there we go. This is Raspbian. Use it for whatever you need to use it for. This is the Noobs install, so it comes with uh, extra OS's and things that you might need. Looks like it has Minecraft pre-installed. Let's see how this runs real quick. Pretty smooth. Not bad for a $35 computer. Now, like I said in the beginning, I went ahead and bought the Raspberry Pi itself. I suggest getting the kit which has the power supply and a little heat sink with it. Uh, I believe that one's like $42 or something like that. So it's definitely worth getting. I just already had a power supply. All right, guys, that's it. That's how you set up the Raspberry Pi. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Amazon Dash buttons. By the way, I picked these up on Prime Day for a dollar a piece, and I'm going to be using them as smart buttons to make different routines and things happen around the house. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, make sure you check out our Facebook group called Smart Home Automation. It's a great place to go to ask questions, and also help others that may have questions that need asked. It's very active and it's a great place to learn something new. So once again, I'll leave that link below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.